All right, where we last left off was where we saw a memory of Moors, who was like a famous wizard, and he was also Tarlac's master. We saw a memory of him in a dungeon, secluded away from society. And then this guy called the Dark Lord came up to him and showed him a memory of humans killing his wife and burning down his house. So now that Moors saw that, he's siding with the formers now and wants to get rid of humanity. Also, the person who wrote the books about Tir Nar Nog and how humans shouldn't go there and how it's not a paradise and blah 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 was written by Moores. So everything's starting to come together now. Now we have to go to Duncan and report everything we found and we're gonna see what he says about it. <laughs> this is, it's hard to believe such a thing could have happened to Moores. Is he still alive? And this is the first time I've heard about how much he hated humans. Please don't speak of this to anybody. It's better he be remembered as a hero. Besides, we only have limited information to go on so far. I'd like to look into this more on my own. And I'll have to read the book that Moores wrote. Can you get it from Tarlac for me? As I expected, of course he doesn't believe it, but let's go to Tarlac and get that book. That's quite a story. Thank you for sharing my mentor's fate with me, Feltshire. Now then, Chief of Duncan in Tyr Cornell wants to borrow the book. I suppose he's that's alright, he's a wise man. He may catch something that we missed. So this is the book of revenge that Morris wrote. Let me take a look at it. He skims through the book. Hmm, interesting. Is this the end? That can't be. Felshire, I don't believe this book ends right here. It reads like there should be more of Looking at the introduction, it seems that there's a three-part series. It's really hard to understand the goddess's intentions just from one book. Could you go find out if there's another one? If we can get the other volumes, we can figure out how to best deal with Moors and the guys, and perhaps inform the king of Alex. We need concrete information to get the king's ear. I don't know where you found the translation of this book, but please inquire there about the existence of the next book. Honestly, I don't see like what more can you find out just from reading another book. It seems like it's pretty clear his intentions. So I guess we gotta go back to Dumbarton and talk to Crystal about another book. But I feel like if there was another book, she out of all people should have known that if there was another book based on the translation. But we'll see. Another volume to this book? I'm not sure, but I was thinking the same thing. You might want to check with Aria about this. When it comes to books, no one's more knowledgeable than her. The Book of Revenge, I'm certain we don't have a book of that title. Stop the cow! I doubt I can order it either. Trust me, I know all the books. It's a three volume set. If you already got the first volume, then I can't sell it to you as a set. Either. I doubt they'll let me order each volume separately. Wait, is Formarian? Why didn't you say so? I'm afraid you'll have to look elsewhere for that. I don't carry anything like that. Felshar, was it? You have quite a unique taste in books. I'll tell you what, you've piqued my interest. And I know a number of explorers and scholars. I'll ask around. If I hear anything, I'll get in touch with you. Well, and now we wait. A few moments later. Alright, so it seems like Aria found a way to get the next book. So let's go talk to her and see what she says. I got something for you, Felshire. Do you remember that book I gave you before? The Land of Eternity, Tir Nog Nog? The author of the book, Leslie, has some information you might be interested in. You see, Leslie is a famous historian and avid explorer. She sent me this note. It says that she once saw the Book of Revenge inside of the Kyar dungeon. The Kyar. The CR dungeon. Apparently this note has some kind of magic in it. And here I have a red wing of goddess to help you along too okay so we're at the dungeon and let's go drop this note at the altar and we're gonna see what happens when we do that this used to be the go-to dungeon back in the day like back when i used to play this heavy like everybody would always be crowded in this dungeon just endlessly doing runs to get as much money and gold as possible but nowadays this dungeon is really easy and the goblins don't really do that much damage nor are they really that aggressive so i should be able to run through this pretty fast considering that i'm basically one-shotting every single one of them and just like that, we finally got the boss key. So we're fighting Metal Skeletons and a Golem. This should be pretty easy. I've literally done this boss probably hundreds of times from back in the day. Okay, so I didn't get anything from killing the boss. So let's see what's in the chest. Oh, there it is. The Book of Revenge Volume 2. That's really random, but I'll take it. So let's go see what more is wrote in this book. So there really was another volume. I'm impressed. I didn't think you'd be able to find it. What do you mean by that? I'll translate this book as promised and I'll let you know as soon as I'm finished. 
A few moments later. You must be here for the translation of the next volume. Here, I think you should read it yourself. It's better than having me summarize it for you. That said, I can't believe what's written in here. And as I did with the other books, I'm gonna read it and then summarize it for you guys because I'm pretty sure nobody wants to sit down and listen to me read this entire book. So give me a minute. Okay, so basically what this book says, it's just a lot of just ranting. Like Morris is basically just ranting about how he hates humans and how he no longer considers himself a human because he doesn't want to be associated with them, how he wants to eliminate all humans and blah, blah, blah. He also says that Morgan is sided with the formers and they all want revenge and that Morgan's gonna help them eliminate all humans and blah 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 that's basically what it says and he also says there's another volume what? so they're right about it being three volumes in the very least and where that other volume is i have no idea and I have no idea where to even begin looking but now that we read the book we're gonna have to go to duncan and show him the copy of the book good job you're quite resourceful both finding the book and having it translated now let us see what secrets it holds. Hmm, so it's true, that's why the former scrolls exist. The formers recognized that humans and nature were growing apart. I think we need the last volume of the set. If what I think is true, all of their plans will be in that book. Ever since Mog Terea, formers have been preparing for another war. But if we don't uncover their plot and stop it, Erwin could face disaster. We have to find the third volume. Please, you have to find the last book of the formers. And don't forget that you must not tell anybody about these matters. What I forgot to mention was that the book also says nature has been turning its back on humans too. So meaning like all the wildlife and all the regular animals are siding with the formers too and becoming formers. It seems like he was able to deduce it by using the former scrolls, which you get from killing any enemy in the game. Okay, so the game says to talk to Aria because she might know where the third volume is. Honestly, after the second volume, she should be already be working towards looking for the third volume because she knows I'm going to come back and ask for the final volume of the book. Since you're looking for volume three, I guess you already found volume two. I'm afraid I haven't heard anything about volume three just yet. It's turning out to be a lot harder to find the last volume. My distributor has been absolutely useless and Evan says she hasn't come across such a book. Even Leslie says she doesn't know anything. Same with Stuart. I asked everywhere, but I don't know how long it will take. I'm afraid that you're going to have to be patient and hope for the best. Well, I don't have time to be patient because there's about to be a whole catastrophe if I don't figure out this mystery. Oh, I've been waiting. I got good news. I found out where you can find volume three of that former book you've been looking for. Lassar, the magic instructor in the school of Tyr Carnell has it. She came by looking for a particular book recently, and while we were chatting, I snuck in a question about your own search. She says she has the third volume of The Book of Revenge, an original copy in the former language, no less. You should hurry up and see her. Welcome, you must be Feltshire. So it was you who was looking for the book. Aria asked me about the book before. Did she tell you why I told her? Yes, the book isn't actually mine. It belongs to Samos, who works in the ruins excavation site in Garage. He said he found it not too long ago while excavating the site, but he could not read anything and asked around and came to me to interpret it. But it was too difficult for me as well. Forget translating it, I couldn't even read one sentence of it. When I told Samus, he said it was okay and asked me to return his book. So as a matter of fact, I just gave the book back to him. I don't know if you will be able to read it because it's such a difficult book to read, but if you want to take a look at it, stop by the ruins excavation site in Garage. Well, we're going to the excavation site right now. Ah, I suppose you're the one Lassar mentioned. You want the book of the formers. Phew, not too long ago, I asked Lassar to translate it, but she said she couldn't do it. I probably won't be able to figure it out myself anyway. Phew, here is the book. All right, we got the book. Let's take the crystal to go translate it, and then we can finally read the final volume. Is that the final volume? Yes, it appears it is. I knew you could get the job done. I'll let you know when my translation is complete. All right, I feel like... We reached a pretty good stopping point for today. We actually got a lot done in this session because we managed to obtain all three volumes of Morris's book and we're in the process of translating the final volume which I believe is going to have the most important information about Morgan, Tiernog Nog, and whether there's like an up and coming apocalypse or something because clearly something bad is going to happen but we just don't know what exactly it is but in the next video we're definitely going to read the final volume and we're going to figure everything out in the meantime be sure to like comment and turn on notifications so you can always know when the next video is about to drop and you can follow me on twitter instagram 
and TikTok at Tristan Floor. All the links are going to be down below in the description. And my other channel, Tristan Floor, is also going to be linked down below too if anyone's interested in that. And I guess I'll see you in the next video.